Let's back up your website. The plugin that help you to back up is called Duplicator. So go to plugin, add a new one, search for the word Duplicator. You will get this one, yeah. WordPress migration and backup. So this one is very useful for beginners, so that you can easily backup your website just in case your Zem doesn't work or you want to move your website to another place or host. Okay, you click install and then activate. So I already installed it. That's why the button is grey. If you already install, it will it will already become grey. Yeah? Okay, after you install, the duplicator will appear on the left side. In my case, it's here, duplicator. And then you click create new. And then it will suggest a name, usually by date, date of today. And then the site name. And then uh, the type of file, uh, usually we just leave it as default without any modification. Next, <coughs> uh, it will scan the site. If everything is green, green, then you can proceed. If not green, then you have to see what is the error and fix it. And then you click build. And then wait for a few seconds. Okay, after the build status show is completed, you click download both files. Okay, sometimes there's a pop-up warning saying that uh, you should allow it before it can download. Okay, so download both files. Uh, it will download uh, two files actually. And if you check your folder, there's a DAF file. DAF file is, is dupl duplicator file. And there's a PHP file. So these two are the file that will help you to recover your website just in case that anything happened. <coughs> okay, so this one you put it in your Google Drive. Yeah? So I put it in a special WordPress backup folder, the installer and the DAF file. Okay, so these two are required to reinstall your website just in case anything happens. Okay, let's say uh, we have problem to open our website. We can recover our website by using these two files. Okay, example. I will reinstall my website in a different folder, yeah? So previously my folder folder names are for example here my website is project 2 Imran these are my subdirectory for my website under C Zem HD doc. Let's say I want to reinstall my website because it's crash. Okay, so I create a new folder Okay, I call it as restore. Restore version. What I need is the DAF file and the PHP file that I get from duplicator. Okay, so these two are the file that are required to reinstall your website. Okay, sometimes if you have file with the same name, 
your browser will rename it with bracket bracket one bracket two and so on so uh, to be safe we just remove the bracket and number okay so if i want to recover my website all i have to do is reinstall it by using the DEF file. For example, I go to localhost slash restore. So this is the new folder that I have created. I see there's an installer. I click the installer. If you can't see the installer file, you have to type the name. Uh, you have to type here installer.php. Okay, so if you see the name, then that's great. But if you don't see the name, you have to type in full. Okay, this is the restoration steps. So to restore your uh, web website, you see uh, this installer screen generated by duplicator. You have to fill up a few things. Okay, database, you create a new database uh, which is same as in WordPress installation, we go to admin for example, it will open localhost local PHP my admin and you create a new database. Okay, uh, this called restore for example, because we are restoring our website from the backup. Okay, so the database name is restore for my restoration uh, website. Okay, so I fill this up. Username is, if you recall, it's root, password, no password. And then click uh, validate. Okay, I have accept. And then next. And then okay. And then wait for the extraction. Okay, after you have finished, it will tell you that you should uh, remove some of the file. Okay, you can access your website again if you click. Uh, here you say auto delete installer. If you set it auto, it will uh, uh, remove the file. The file that it will remove is the installer.php and the DAF file. Okay, we click admin log login, so you got your restored website. And if you go to the front end, okay, the website look exactly like the original. So this is the restore website, restore website, and my original was this one, project two. So they should look exactly the same. The username and password to log in is exactly the same. So you see my website, um, this one is project, localhost project, this one is localhost restore. So that's how you backup and restore.